Well, I have my Netgear N150 Wi-Fi USB adapter and my EV3 Intelligence brick. Now I'm hoping to be able to connect to Wi-Fi. And this is not open, so we're going to see if this is a make or break situation. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to tell you one thing, I'm going to need to get a new pair of scissors because these have seen better days. Let's open up the box. This is all done live. Well, we don't need that because... Wow! This whole box for this little thing. Are you serious? Oh, there's other things. Oh, the docking thing. I can always use that. Wow. What a waste of packaging for that little... USB stick. Get those boring boxes out of the way. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It says stop. Run the installation CD first before connecting this device. Well, I haven't there's obviously no CD drive on this except for a SD memory card. So let's see how I can open this up. Oh, it just rips. I'll just rip it open. It says stop, but we're going to go anyways. That's the way it always is. And for some of you who think I'm always immature because the way I talk, well, this is supposed to be for fun. Oh, I actually have a protected cover on this. Wow. Ooh, isn't that fancy? They had to make it extra safe and extra protective. Okay, get that out of the way. Now let's marry these two things, but before I can do that, this is supposed to plug in into the side. So let's try it out and let's see what happens. To make this even easier, I'm just going to drop this down. And, well, I went down too far. <laughs> so let's go up a little higher. Let's boot up the brick. Just be quiet, Crow. Hey, didn't you hear me? I said be quiet. Wow, that's connecting. Woo, get exclusives. What is this? Uh, 50 new songs? No. Oh, download up to 50 new songs from eMusic. Oh, well, who cares? I don't download, I actually buy my music. Well, that's what I always say, anyways. Oh, there it goes. Alright, now I want to connect to the Wi Fi. Now, this thing doesn't have this dongo or whatever it's called, but. If you normally would connect without it, this is what it will say to you. It'll spit some uh, thing out. I don't know how I'm going to get this thing to really focus in. Oh, there we go. And it'll tell you that you don't have Wi-Fi installed. Well, we're going to try it and see. We're going to put this on the side. Keep my fingers crossed. Okay. I'm inserted. Let's see if it works. Oh wow. Let's see here. Connections. This might not work. If it doesn't work, then uh, well, I'll have to play around with it. I think it'd go any faster. I don't see the light over here lighting up. Alright, well this time it gave me a check mark. Okay, but what have you, what, what, let's see, connections. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what happens. I never got this far before. Add hidden. I don't want to add hidden. There's no list. Well, I don't have a hidden network. I don't know how to get out of this. Um, I'll just click the home button. Alright, we click this. That's the only two options. It just says connections and I, man I can't manage to get a connection in here. And I'm only about maybe 20 feet away from my uh, network device. Oh, there's the light. It just came on. 
Oh, look at that. Look at all the extra connections. So now it does work. So you just have to play with it. Uh, there's EV3. That's mine. Connect. WPA2. Oh, and it's asking for a password. Well, I'm going to rechange all these passwords when I'm done, so let's just try it here and let's see if we can connect. Um, and you guys were asking me, what am I going to use this for? Well, you know, you're going to... Oh, wait a minute, you know what? Is this thing case sensitive or something? Let me see if I can see it here. Um... Hold on, let me pull it away here because I can't see it from the viewfinder. Oh, there it is. I've never really had played with this before, but you have to go to this thing here to get it to work. Okay. Let's see if we can get this done here. Sorry about the quality of this. This is a live video, so if I make a mistake, you're all going to know it. At least they have a standard QWERTY keyboard. Except I'd rather type with the keyboard instead of do this. And for who's somebody who says I talk too much, well, oh well. Store. So, oh, there's the R right next to the E. The QWERTY. Okay, let's see if we can get to the M, and then S. Let's see if I can connect. And then, um, well, you can't even get to the enter button. You think it would let you. Let's see if it'll let me connect. Hmm. Still not connecting, huh? <clears throat> oh, it did connect. Alright. Now I'm connected. So that means now I can connect with the uh, EV3 software provided by LEGO. And I can control this brick. I can send data from my servers or from my computer or anywhere to this brick and reprogram it. Also, I can control it from different parts of the world, too. So basically, that's it. And just as a side note, I did try this Zoom Wireless In. This is what I was trying to use, and I had this for quite some time. And it did not work with this. I've tried another Netgear. I think it was the N300. It did not work. And I had looked through the documentation. And for some odd reason, this is the only USB Wi-Fi adapter you can use with this. So just to show you, it was out of the box, new, nothing altered. And it's still connecting. So reading data from the servers. So anyways, that's it. Um, I'm hoping this information will help some of you guys and gals out setting this thing up. Um, so you're going to have to find this. And like I said, I got this at Walmart for like 20 30 bucks or something. But, you know, get it before they run out of them. Because once they do that... And I'm running the firmware, the firmware of... Um, the official firmware of 1.01, .01, and that's the home edition. Um, I'm planning on upgrading this to the educational for the logging features. So, anyways, that's about it for the Mindstorms uh, EV3 Intelligence Brick being set up with Wi-Fi, so it is possible. Thank you for watching.